A Testament Against the World, The Lord's Rebuke, Shiloh, September 23, 2011, from the Lord, our God and Savior, the word of the Lord spoken to Timothy, for all those who have ears to hear. Thus says the Lord, When I gathered the waters together in one place, was it not so? And is it not so, even to this day? When I called for the locusts to come forth into the land of Egypt, to eat up every green thing, did they not obey my voice, says the Lord? Behold, did not I, even I, form man from the stuff of the earth, and breathe into him life? Am I not he who created the heavens and the earth? Shall I not take what is mine, and do with it as I please? Shall I not discipline my own children, and strike those who rebel against me? I am the Lord, and there is no God besides me. Yet the people kindle fire upon my altar, and steal from my sanctuary. They cease not from destroying my holy things. For they are desolate, and have no knowledge. They take not one word into their hearts, and ignore my every decree. They have not known me, though I have walked among them. Behold, they are dying, and welcome death, though my life was poured out for them. They will not drink, they no longer wish to eat, that I might sustain them. For their every fountain is polluted, and the bread they serve is filled with rottenness. Therefore I shall vomit them from my mouth. For the lukewarm have no place at my table, and have no interest in the truth as it really is. Truth has departed from them. Only pretense remains, and is worn proudly. Thus falsehoods rise up, bearing chains of imprisonment. Harlotries increase, bringing forth illness, infecting the whole of the body. Therefore shall their fornications eat their flesh, as their new wine inflames them. For insolent cords bind the proud, and rebellion is a rope by which the foolish hang themselves, says the Lord. For I am God over all the earth, and lo, I have indeed drawn back my hand, that you may fall. Behold, my spirit is removed, that you may do all this wickedness which dwells within your hearts. For the nations have no favor with God, and the people called by my name do not know me. Therefore must I also stretch out my arm, and perform all I have spoken against them. I shall bring every word to pass, of which I have spoken in my anger. Every letter shall be accomplished, that my wrath may be satisfied. My people, how long shall you pollute my name? How long shall you forsake my Sabbaths? My people forsake my ways, and will not hallow my Sabbaths. Behold, my commandments have no place in their hearts. Therefore, the dissident shall never prosper, for my every word is law. Thus shall I kindle a fire in their courts, and bring upon them a fierce wind. Great disaster shall befall them in one day. Woe to those who cry, Emmanuel! Then break my commandments by permission in his name. You know nothing of grace, and from you my spirit is far removed. Woe to those who say, We are delivered! Then persecute those sent to them, that by which you have judged shall return atop your own heads. Woe to those who love their houses of worship, and lift up empty praise in my name, then turn their backs on the word of my mouth, and refuse my correction. You have secured your place in the valley. Woe to those who stop their ears to the voice of God, and follow after men. Yours shall be a bitter place, filled with remorse and many tears. Hardship and troubles shall be your daily bread. Woe to every man, who teaches eternal torment and preaches everlasting burning. Woe to all those who embrace wicked and bitter doctrine and hold it over the heads 
of the ignorant. I do not know you, nor have you any knowledge of who I truly am at all. For your famine is great, your poverty severe, a very desolate people. Offer up no praises to my glory, and make no open supplications. I will not listen to your cause, nor will I hear your prayers. I do not accept your worship, says the Lord. For dogs lick up vomit, and maggots devour rotting flesh, and do not swine wallow in their own filth. Yet you have wallowed in your uncleanness days without end, licking up doctrine meat for the dogs. Look now, death is near. The day of calamity is here, and the great day is very near, where the flesh of the harlot shall be eaten, and all her dead members shall be torn in pieces and strewn about. Rotting flesh, maggots' food, meat to be burned in the fire. Yet you say, This word is false, for we are fat and very rich. Not one of us is desolate. Our every doctrine is well accepted, for we are God's elect, and our church is the true church and only bride. How dare you say we are filthy and shall be torn in pieces? We will live forever and will never be a widow. Thus says the Lord, You are a widow already, very poor and desolate, a great number of starving people and very desolate, a perverse people, who have made God in their own image. Therefore, because you have eaten up my people and held my children captive, so shall you eat the flesh of your own arm in your captivity. Every house of worship shall be torn down, every community devastated, even as Shiloh.